Okay, so just want to make this quick video um, to talk about the arthrokinematics um, of the thumb because it can be a little confusing, especially uh, with the fact that it is concave and convex or the other way. Because it is a saddle joint, it can change depending on if it's um, flexing or extending or abducting and adducting, right? So I want to kind of give the rules of the concave and convexity depending on which direction that the thumb is going, right? So let's start off with the side. So we're looking at the side of the hand here. So we have the thumb right here uh, and we're looking at it from the side. So if we are abducting and adducting, right so going away from the hand and going towards the hand um, so if we are abducting then the trapezium would have a concave surface and the the uh, the MC joint would have a convex surface right so then the joint motion so when we abduct the thumb it's going to roll down and it's going to slide back because it has, you know, to clear, get a good motion within the joint. So it is on a concave trapezium with a convex uh, metacarpal here. So that is the convex on concave. It's going to roll uh, opposite to roll and slide opposite to where it's going. So again, it's going to roll this way while sliding back. So that's the arthrokinematics uh, for abduction adduction. Now, when we are flexing and extending, that changes a little bit because again, it's a saddle joint. Um, it changes depending on which direction you're going. So now we're, we're flexing and we're extending, right? We're looking at it from this this viewpoint, right? So our hand is like this. And so now the metacarpal is going to be concave. You see it's concave and the trapezium is going to be convex. So it's gonna be rounded. So now the arthrokinematics are gonna, it's gonna roll and slide in the same direction. So it's gonna roll and slide in that same direction because of the way that it is shaped, right? And so that is gonna be as flexion, flexion, and extension, right? Flexion, extension, right? So because of the shape, like I said, the saddle joint, hopefully this uh, makes the concave convexity and the rolling sliding directions a little bit clearer. Hopefully it helped. Um, yeah.